Hey there, Matt from Wetham Solutions here, and today I'm going to show you how to write a search engine optimized blog in WordPress. So let's take a look. So the first thing that you should do before actually writing your post or getting to that stage is you want to make sure that your permalinks are set up properly for search engine optimization. So hover over the settings tab and click on permalinks. Now there are some common settings here given, but what you really want to do is set up the custom structure. And what you want to do is you can use different formats, but most commonly the best way that you can have a post set up is by having the category and post name just like this. So what you want to do is go ahead and click custom structure and then type in exactly what you see here with the forward slash or the yeah, forward slash uh, percent sign category percent sign another forward slash percent post name percent forward slash again so go ahead and type that in and then click save changes and then we're ready to get to the actual post now the next thing you want to do is some keyword research the reason that you should do this before writing your post is so that you know what to title your post as well as what keywords to use in your post so to do this you can use the Google AdWords keyword tool Last week I posted a video on how to use the keyword tool, so if you're unfamiliar with that, uh, check out our video from last week or click on this link. So once you found your keyword phrase that you're going to write this blog optimizing it for, what you want to do is in the title, either make it your entire title or at least start your title with your main keyword. So. Your main keyword phrase is basically your title. Now, if you have to, you can add some other text. But to really optimize for that particular keyword phrase, make sure it's at least the beginning. And you can get creative. I mean, you can hyphenate it, or you can put a colon, or something to that effect. Uh, the most effective way is to just have the keyword phrase as your title. Um, and so what will happen is this will get posted into the main header as long as you have a proper WordPress um, theme it'll get posted into the main header of the page and it'll also be because we set up the permalinks properly it'll also be up in the address bar which is very important for search engines to read so what I'm gonna do is I've just got some dummy text here to post as my post and so once you've got your text ready what you want to do is make sure that your main keyword phrase shows up at least twice within the body text at the very most five times and it really depends on your your post I mean that's just a general rule if your post is very long I mean if it's a 1500 word post you you can get away with it maybe a little bit more but you don't want to have it too many times and uh, so what I would do is basically somewhere find within your text where you can insert the, the keyword phrase either exactly or very close to um, what it actually is so I'm gonna go ahead and type it here and I'm going to make sure that it shows up somewhere else such as right here. Now it's great to have that keyword phrase bolded as well so if you can make one of them bold uh, that can help as well with uh, ranking for that keyword. Now the next thing you can do is um, you can add a, a header to tag and so if you, have a, if you have a section that you can divide up and have a, a separate subsection what you want to do is hit enter and do a hard line return and do it again and then go back up to where you can put the header here and put uh, something else that's related to your keyword here not the exact keyword phrase so don't type in uh, my main keyword phrase here but do something that's related to it in some way shape or form so I'm gonna go with some type of keyword and another saying so I've got the word keyword that corresponds with the main keyword phrase, but then saying is a different way of saying phrase. Now, this is just as an example. Um, do, just make sure that you're not repeating this or that you're not just paraphrasing it. But this is just to, to show an example of the fact that you want to have a second header. And what you do is highlight that and drop this down and choose heading two. And this keyword the keywords that are in here are, are have a lot of weight put on them so what you want to do is make sure that they are related to the post and they're not just something like you know about us or more information 
where the keyword more information doesn't really say anything about your post. So make sure you actually say something like more information about my main keyword phrase or more information about something related to my main keyword phrase. So go ahead and do that. Uh, you can put uh, a couple different header two tags uh, separating some of the content that you have. Now the next thing that you want to do is make sure you choose the right category for it. Now in this blog we have several different categories. So if there isn't a category in your blog already that has to do with this particular blo uh, posting, then make sure you create it by clicking add new category and then typing it out here. So once you've got a good category selected, and you can even apply multiple categories to it, then just go down to the tag section here. Now with the tags, it's important not to keyword stuff. Don't just throw every keyword that you can possibly think of in here, but make sure that you do have some good keywords. The first keyword I always be sure to have is my main keyword phrase. So the main keyword phrase that I've optimized this particular blog posting for, and I'm going to go down there and paste that in there and click add. And then I'm going to come up with some other tags that are related uh, to this. So for example, I've chosen the marketing um, category here. So the next tag that I might have might be marketing. And I can separate these with commas. I can type in something that's related or a combination of something else that people might search for, such as marketing keyword phrase or main marketing phrase. You get the idea that it's all related to the main keyword phrase, which is in my in my case, just for demonstration purposes, my main keyword phrase. So don't put too many tags in because it can be spammy, but don't go too lean on the tags either. Whatever you think people would search for, whatever keywords they might search that would bring up this post, make sure that you get uh, those in there. So once you've got all that done, go ahead and click publish. And then what you can do is visit that post and copy the link and paste the link into your Twitter or your Facebook account and share it. As soon as you post something, it's really important to share it uh, within some of your social media circles. And this is because it will immediately start to drive traffic to that post, which can then generate viral traffic and, um, and, and people can share it as well. Or if you share it on Facebook, for example, uh, someone can comment on it, which will cause it to show up in uh, their feed as well so that their friends who might not even be connected to your uh, Facebook account will then see it. The same with Twitter. If someone finds it interesting, they will retweet it and it will grow and it will get more, um, just it'll create more buzz for this particular article online. And the more that, that happens, the more activity that goes on it, the more that Google and other search engines can see that it's a valuable article and it's worthwhile to return for search engine results. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe up in the top right corner or enter your email in the right column to receive an email notification each time we post a new video. Thanks again.